my advisor at the time, um, she said, you know, chemistry is a lot like cooking. Okay. In that there's only, there's, there's a few techniques that you have and you have to be extremely good at figuring out which techniques you want to do and the order in which you want to put them in order to actually make your chemistry happen. But it is really like cooking because you've got standard tools, right? You've got heat, you can heat up stuff, you can cool down stuff. Um, you can mix stuff together and you can stir stuff together. Every once in a while you have like fancy techniques. Like if you want to do creme brulee or whatever that thing is with like a blowtorch, right? <laughs> right? And you're like, you know, every once in a while, or like you want to electrically shock stuff for some reason. Um, but most of, most of it is basically mixing, heating, letting it sit, all of the techniques that we use in the kitchen to make a really good meal, right? And that's what's happening in chemistry. Like in the lab, that's, that's what you have. I was briefly in um, a chemistry lab at UCLA when I was doing rotations um, from one lab to the other to figure out what I want to do my PhD physics in. This was a lab that um, was actively doing cryo electron microscopy to find, um, you know, the structures of giant proteins. And in that 